Hey, you beautiful tubers, you. How are you doing today? Uh, boy, this is going to be a good one. This is really going to be a good one. Um, comes uh, to us from the uh, the land of, of um, I don't know, <laughs> fun, good times, debauchery, whatever it is, here it is. And don't forget to hit that like and make sure you're uh, subscribed too. I'm a, I'm a uh, grifter at all times, right? But anyway, uh, listen, check this out. Sound familiar? Mom found son's decapitated body after he allegedly murder, was murdered by his girlfriend, who is also married to his son, said the cops. The headless body of Jonathan James Willett, 46, was discovered wrapped in blankets and bloody on August 7th. A horrified Nevada mom uh, discovered her son's decapitated body after he was allegedly murdered by his girlfriend. No word of whether or not it was in a bucket or if anything else was decapitated. Um, this is the, they're getting the uh, the business going. Uh, the sh business it is the business that's going on in Nevada. I don't know. This is crazy. Uh, see, but he is also uh, this uh, the girlfriend is also married to the man's own son, according to the cops. Um, Jonathan James was discovered wrapped in blankets and bloody as mother by his mother on bed at a home in Henderson in the morning of August seventh. Uh, the Las Vegas Review said, citing a rush report. <clears throat> Jonathan's head has been severed from his body and was not observed to be in the room. It just got up and walked off. Uh, the Review Journal is quoted as stating, Police still have not located Willett's head, the outlet added. It was not clear Willett's mother, who immediately called out one, saw her son's head had been severed, the report stressed. Well, his 45-year-old girlfriend, Devin Michaels, was arrested in book Tuesday on one count of murder, the Henderson Police Department said. Um, <laughs> so, Devin Michaels here. Does she look familiar to anybody? <laughs> There'll be more on this later. Trust me, you're going to want, you're going to hold on, strapping your seatbelts and wash your hands for this one. Michaels has two daughters with the victim. Even though she is married to his adult son, the report said without identifying him. That husband, the victim's son, told police that their marriage is not a typical marriage and that they got married so he could help Devin with her medical issues. Okay, I see here. So... This, so she is the daughter-in-law of the guy who is without the head, but she is also the girlfriend. Um, where this, we have a lot of um, we have a lot of titles for people, don't we? Uh, Michael's told uh, by the law. By the way, this is sins right here. The uh, her marriage is not a typical marriage. They got married so he could help Devin with her medical issues. I believe that's called insurance fraud. I don't know what it is in Nevada. I just, that's what I'd be afraid of if I were in a similar situation. Michaels told investigators that the decapitated man was abusive to her and made a child take showers in front of him. It was not clear if her allegations of abuse were credible, the Review Journal noted. Kind of like he, he wanted to be in the suitcase. Well, that's the cause of death is still pending, the uh, coroner's office said. However, his girlfriend told cops she bashed him in the head with a wooden stick. And when he tried to get her to conduct a sexual... Oh, uh, him with a wooden stick when he tried to get her to conduct a sexual act on him. While she was rubbing his back in bed. What? So she's rubbing his back, and he says, hey, I want you to conduct a sexual act on me. So she grabs a wooden stick, or maybe she had a wooden stick while she was rubbing his back. Do you guys have a lot of wooden sticks next to your bed? I, I don't know. Maybe like a, 
a Louisville slugger or something, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, <laughs> devastated, she did not want to kill Jonathan and only wanted to hurt him enough that he would have to go to the hospital because she wanted him out of the way so she could figure out what she could do with her children. Okay, I got you. I see what's happening there. Michaels told police she covered Willette with a blanket and briefly spoke to his mother before leaving the home, telling her that her son was drunk in bed. <laughs> Surveillance footage then shows the suspect's car leaving the residence just after 2 a.m., a few hours before Willette's mother found the body, the Review Journal said. When asked to explain what happened in the, next, uh, in the hour between Celine Willette's mother and her exit, Michaels told police she could not account for that time frame. I'm sure it was, uh, it has something to do with string theory and alternate uh, realities. She's a scientist. A regular Peter Porker. Uh, when the victim's mother came downstairs at 8, she saw the dogs locked outside and her son's truck still parked. She then searched the house and found Willette's body. On August 8th, Willette's mother was cleaning up and noticed a meat cleaver missing from the kitchen. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, guys, you might want to, if you're bringing girls over to your parents' house, you might want to take all the knives out of the kitchen. This just seems like to be a, a trend. Women don't carry their own <laughs> knives. But if it was a meat cleaver, that is definitely, I would like to know what the difference is between the meat cleaver and the bread knife uh, descriptions. <laughs> Uh, investigators also later found Willett's wallet, keys, social security card, and his phone with blood on it. I'm sure the maybe the, the head, when it popped off, it tried to dial somebody. I don't know. Here's a bleeds, and I immediately respond to the New York Post request for comment. So there you have it. Devin Michaels, 45. There's another story that will be coming up after this one. So uh, stay tuned, y'all. This one is... Uh, this one's uh, one for the record books. It's going to be uh, I don't know. I don't know if she's influenced by she business or what. But anyway, guys, listen. Please hit that like. Uh, please share. Please have fun. Remember, it's uh, all about fun tube here. And I stream every day just about at 9 p.m. And um, Taco Tuesdays are on Tuesday. Friday Night Live is on Friday, and Sunday nights for members only. I love you guys. Have a good time. Be good to each other, and um, don't bring psycho chicks home to your mom. <laughs> love y'all.